Hello and welcome back. As you may know, AA saved my life, but don't run away. I'm not going to preach to you. I will, however, share my experience with Alcoholics Anonymous online recovery Zoom meetings and AA speakers online and other alternatives in these historically isolating times. So kick back and let's do it. Now I know what you're saying. James, I didn't want to go to recovery meetings when before this coronavirus thing hit. Do I really have to get online and download an app and stare at a bunch of weird screens like I'm in some sort of futuristic group therapy? Unfortunately, the answer is yes. And that's unfortunate for me and you. I got sober when I was willing to do whatever it took to attain and maintain sobriety. And unfortunately right now with this whole COVID-19 thing, this is what it takes. Well, first let me tell you who I am. My name is James. I'm a grateful recovering addict and alcoholic. I drank and used drugs recklessly for 20 years and I've been recovering since January 18th, 2016. I post videos right here on this channel sharing my experience with addiction, recovery, everything in between. So feel free to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell like and share to get this out there and scroll all the way down to comment. I've also been live streaming twice a day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So explore the channel to see if I have any upcoming live streams and also my live stream playlist. Live streaming has helped me and my recovery. Right now I've been in my house for about three weeks and I'm sure you have too, as the entire world has. And it has been a trying time for everyone, including 12-step attendees and people in recovery across the board. So in this video, I'm going to be posting a link for the aaonlineintergroup.org, as well as the meeting guide app, as well as the site for Zoom, a meeting conferencing app that uh, intergroups across the US are using, the Skype. I've also posted in the drop-down description my playlist for AA speakers, my live stream playlist, and some other resources you may find useful in this confining time. Zoom meetings, what are they? Are they weird? Are, is my security and identity compromised? And well, yes to all of those. However, there are many things that we have to do in recovery that are uncomfortable and outside of our comfort zone. And this is just another one. So what I did is put one foot in front of the other, one cyber foot in front of the other, and clicked on the Zoom link and explored. The AA Intergroup has a list of online meetings. And if you look on the bright side, if you live in New York, you can attend a meeting in California and then be back in time for dinner. As you may have heard before, connection is the opposite of addiction. I have no doubt that the fellowship of the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous have benefited me greatly and it could be said that they have kept me sober. Now, if your city is anything like mine, we are locked down except for essentials like grocery shopping, working, and outdoor recreational activities. The parks are closed, so my disc golf is shut down. So I've been streaming twice a day, and I've also been doing Zoom meetings, and you can find my Zoom meeting invites on my Patreon page, which I've also posted down in the drop-down description. When I host a Zoom meeting, I don't First of all, I don't associate with AA other than the fact that I don't hesitate to tell my story. My story is when I was willing to do whatever it took to stay sober, I stayed sober. And that included attending regular AA meetings. I got a home group, I got a sponsor. I did what AA suggested. But when I hold a Zoom meeting, I don't call it a, an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting or a Narcotics Anonymous meeting. I just call it a recovery meeting and all are welcome. No judgment is tolerated. There could be up to 100 people. I will suggest a topic pertaining to recovery, such as relapse prevention, 
how isolation is bad, the role willpower plays in recovery. But if there's something you want to talk about, the meeting is yours. It's a loose, kind of easygoing meeting, and sometimes we just have fun. If you're looking for specifically Alcoholics Anonymous online Zoom meetings, that link down below, aa-innergroup.org, is where you'll find a list of those. My home group online Zoom meeting is run basically just like it's run in person, except there's a few things you have to consider. One is the anonymity factor. Uh, Zoom is still trying to catch up like we all are with this COVID disaster. So they are providing security updates and there are certain things your home group has to do, certain settings they have to click to keep the anonymity factor alive. Another tool that I find useful is listening to speaker tapes online. If you're not familiar, speaker tapes are when a fellow recovering addict gets up before the group and shares, and in this case, has it recorded for the benefit of future generations. I've had this channel for a little over a year now, and I've constructed a playlist consisting of a few AA members that you may or may not know. Feel free to explore that in these cards up here and down in the drop-down description. About 80 years ago, two guys spoke to each other about their troubles with alcohol and discovered that two alcoholics speaking to each other has some sort of effect, a very positive effect on their disease of alcoholism, and they were able to recover. These two guys were named Bill W. and Dr. Bob, of course. So while we're trapped here at home, we can listen to alcoholics speak in the form of digital recordings. Some of the speakers in my speaker tape playlist are well-known celebrities that chose to release their anonymity and have their story recorded. Some are very charismatic and entertaining to listen to, but all of them have the value of being able to relate to and taking a certain weight off of your shoulders. Now, another option that I've recently discovered myself running this channel is live streaming, recovery live streams. I host a live stream every day now at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I suggest a topic and usually get around 20 to 25 people in the room. And usually how these go is I'll be sitting right here and I'll suggest a topic. I'll talk about my experience on that topic and then I'll ask for others' experience. You, the viewer, can then type me questions or share with us your experience on the topic or other topics, whether it be something that you want to talk about or bring up. A lot of times people will be celebrating a sobriety date and usually in, when there's not a pandemic going on in the world, during sobriety dates, we'll have celebrations at our home group, but we can't do that right now. So during these live streams, there's a lot of support for sobriety dates and there's a lot of support for relapses as well. The anonymity is better for these things. So if you're interested in that, I'll be here 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or you can just go to my channel and scroll down and there should be an, an upcoming live stream thumbnail where you can hit a reminder and be reminded when I go live. <sighs> so in summary, these are troubling times. We're all confined to our homes. We don't know when this thing is going to end. And recovery can be a beast in everyday life, but especially now when we're damned to isolate in our homes. But we do have phones and we do have computers. We're also fortunate to have a library of speakers that have recorded their strength, experience, and hope. And many of those are available on aa.org or right here on my channel. If you've been curious and thinking about going to an AA group Zoom meeting, they say that life begins at the end of our comfort zone. And it, it is uncomfortable. I get it, but I've provided the links down in the description, so check it out.
as far as live streaming goes, I'll see you here in a couple hours, actually. And I hope to see you there. Let me know if this video is what brought you there. I also have a Facebook group called Whatever It Takes. You can find that link at the in these little link buttons, or I'll put it down in the description too. That is just an ongoing conversation among addicts and alcoholics, funny memes, inspiring quotes, things of that nature. If you're looking for 24 seven contact with me and other addicts and alcoholics, I host a Discord server. It's a 24 seven chat, rolling chat, and I make that available to all my patrons on patreon.com slash sober James. That includes a 24 seven discord recovery chat with me and other recovering addicts, as well as many other benefits. You can check that out. Well, I hope I was able to help in some way. Remember to check out those links and share this video with someone in need. And until next time, just keep it clean, keep it real and keep doing the damn thing. All right. Peace.